um, have you ever thought about running off to join the circus? Maybe when your house is so crazy and you're thinking I could have a whole new life. But I then think you it's know, a thought people have. Then you think I have a job, I have a mortgage, and all that. I don't know if it's really going to fit into my schedule. But you can get a little taste of the circus life right here in the Twin Cities. This is pretty cool. We sent our TCL correspondent to a trapeze school located in an old brewery in St. Paul to try his hand at a high flying circus act. We've just opened about a month ago, and we just opened here at the old Ham's Brewery. What's your background? Is you, are you from Minnesota originally? Yeah, so I grew up here in Minnesota. I was a dancer and a performer. I did a lot of musical theater, and I saw a production of Cirque du Soleil and thought, that's what I want to do. I packed up my uh, then boyfriend, uh, Jake, and we moved to California to train circus. And 10 years later, here we are. It's addicting. It's like they baited me, they gave me a little bit, and then now I'm hooked. So how did you find this place and get started? Well, Katie and Jake used to come to, or come to my Tabata class. I teach next door at the YMCA. And they wore their Twin Cities trapeze shirt in, and it said staff on the back. And I said, staff, what do you do? And they said, well, we're trapeze artists. I said, I have never met a trapeze artist. I was just awed by the whole thing. I was like, that's so cool. You're going to get me up here, I think, a little bit later. But for somebody like me, how do you get them to get up there and what's the process like? Well, we joke that we all have a, a advanced degrees in psychology because we're so good at getting people to who are afraid of heights to go on the trapeze. We'll start by teaching you something on the low bar. You do practice everything on the ground first. There you go, Sam. Nice. Stay like that. Yes, Sam. Good. I'm gonna do that up there. Yes. Oh my gosh. And then we get you up as soon as possible. I find the less time you have to think, the better off you're gonna be. <laughs> Take this hand, put it right here. Right I'm here. hyperventilating, so I'm hooked in. If I were to fall, I'm alive. I've got you, and there's a knife. Okay. Hold on, stay just like that. OK. Wait, one more swing. Sorry. Leg straight. Out, up, and around now. Got to go more. Yes, good job, Sam. Hands off now. Arch, and look behind you, yes. Good. Really look for the wall behind you. Good. Let go. Yes. <sighs> Nicely done. <laughs> oh, I'm alive. How do you feel? Oh, I feel alive. You did fantastic. Let me talk you through that how you're going to get off the That is incredible. <laughs> nice Sam job. Ryan, yeah. everybody. Nice job. Nice job. Afterwards, they said that I was ready for the circus, yeah. but they said I also needed to bring a shovel and then follow behind the elephant. So I don't think it had anything to do with my performance. Your in the circus. <laughs> Did you see what I was wearing, though? Yeah, so I wanted to comment on those tight trapeze pants, like what was happening right. here and where did you get those and do you keep those just for occasions like this? All right, here's the deal. <laughs> Yesterday was a snow day. My wife is a teacher. She slept in, had nothing to do with helping me out, picking out my outfit yesterday. <laughs> This is what I ended up with. Well, so this is me clothing yeah, but, yeah, myself but, without my wife's well, help. What would you rather have? I mean, they're wearing like leotards <laughs> on the circus. So I mean, I'd take the black track pants over the. Yeah, leotard, but I do right? like the white socks. Yeah. That's, That's one nice item touch. I think looks good. My wife, again, might disagree there. But <laughs> anyhow, um, it is. it was so... I'm afraid of heights. I'm not terrified, but I'm afraid. And I think the worst part was actually climbing the ladder okay. and then being on the platform. Mm -hmm. But then you grab a hold of that swing, and it is exhilarating. That's it's really a lot cool. of fun, yeah. So who can do this, and how do you get to be able right. to go there? Well, first of all, if I can do it, I'm being honest here, I think most people probably could do it. Yeah. I, I'm about as strong as just holding my body for a split second up on the chin Chris might want to do some crunches before he, you know, gets up there. Just That's supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> but well, the, the place, we'll have it listed on our website, but it, the ages are for anybody six and up okay. is what they oh, said. Wow. Now, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending my son, he's five, he's turning six soon, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending him up that 30-foot ladder. Sure. Okay, so a little older than that? Yeah, and you have to gauge it for your own kids. I mean, Chris, your kids, I'm sure I saw him play guitar, he's probably ready for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know but, about that. But, but uh, it's six and up and it's 45 bucks for a class you can even go out and just try it for one day and mm -hmm. I'll tell you what those folks we have uh, both Katie and Jack they're the owners yep and it's just beautiful even if you just go and watch them do it I think we have a little footage Do we have some footage we can show real quick of them, of them it's because they're like professionals I mean they're they probably professionals. pretty good at this they have yep and Katie started off as a dancer, and that's how she got interested in this. And we even spoke with some of the newcomers. So this is Jack. I mean, look at that. He's not even tied in. This is Katie. Whoa. And then they said, after you learn to swing by your knees, 
the next step is then to oh. be caught and see how she went oh forward gosh. again. Yeah, so that's it's wow. carrying that momentum. And Linda is one of the students, and she said that's what got her hooked. It was smart of you to show us catch, the video of you caught. doing this <laughs> before you showed us them. Mm -hmm. Because we thought you looked really good, and exactly. then they just looked amazing. But had it been the opposite, we might have been a little bit disappointed. In them. No. <laughs> that was awesome, Sam. Nice work. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good, very good job, Sam. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And I, we have all the information. If you want to go check it out on our website, you can go to TwinCitiesLive.com and check it out. And sorry for that.